Yeah, 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 yeah. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Yo. Hey, you already know, man. The Gemini Scorpio podcast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pal, zero, I missed y'all. I missed it. Yeah, I, I be it. missing it. You did? Through the week, yeah. I wanted to get behind the camera and talk some shit. What shit you talking today? I don't know yet, but I feel like, you know, it's going to be a little of this, a little of this. All right, so last time we ain't um, really do the cheers for real, so we're going to be drinking mimosas today. Uh, I'm going to do this just in, in hopes, all right? So are we drinking Bel Air today? Um, they ain't paying us, but hopefully... They can but because we drink a lot of Bel Air. All right, so look, so we're gonna put that in in the air. Manifest, we're baby. Manifest it's called that. manifest. We're drinking Bel Air and we drinking some Royal Farms orange juice. All right, but Jay it's make bought a great this mimosa. orange juice like 4 a.m. this morning. We go to Royal Farms. He walks out with a half a gallon of orange juice. Half a gallon. You know what I'm Come, on, Come on, pour me up. Pour me up. All right, boom. Let's gotcha, switch gotcha, off. Gotcha, gotcha. I ain't gonna lie, Bel Air is a nice. It's a nice thing. Yeah, I'm trying to drink that Clico, but no, I don't want to open the bottle. Thief. That's my bottle. It's not his bottle. Why is we it popped yours? your bottle. How? No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Shade, you gave. Listen, this is what happened. So, Shade had a bottle of Clico for her birthday. Uh, her friend got me a bottle of Bel Air because I was hired at WKYS. She had the better bottle, so she yeah. wanted to take her bottle to give to her friend for a holiday party, or not for um like. Uh, announcing he, his his girlfriend was pregnant, right? A gender reveal. There you he go. says he goes, no, we could give them my bottle. He doesn't tell me that, but I'm gonna keep your bottle. He's like, we just could give him my bottle. Last night he tells me that no, by doing that I gave him my bottle of Clico because I gave away mine and he should have it since he gave his away. And I was like, you finessed me. A hundred percent true, and that's not a finesse. You did finesse me because you didn't tell me that's what we were doing. You didn't tell me like if I. If you gave up yours, I had to give give up mine. You volunteered that, so it wasn't yours. All right, whatever. You gave up yours, but Look, cheers nonetheless. Happy cheers, Sunday, cheers. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I just want to, oh, yeah, my shit right. I just want to make sure, but um, that was that. Um, So she want to keep the Clico because she's just selfish. That's what she do. I wanted to save it. Hey, um, so you already know what we got on. Uh, Milani, check out the jacket, uh, Milani hat, uh, all that, what? Can you put the mask up here? So oh, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. She fucked up the um the whole shout out. So, look. My bad. Sorry. Milani on a jacket, you feel me? This yeah. shit nice. Got the whole, the back. You know what I'm saying? The back is dope. You don't see it on. Tea. You got the hat. You looking yeah. nice, like, baby. You, you don't see it on, um, on Instagram when I post it. The back got something on there. The front, you know what I'm saying? I got the whole skelly. I call it a skelly, but y'all call it what? Beanie? That's definitely a beanie. I call it a skelly. Make sure you visit MilaniBrand.com. M-O-L-A-N-I-B-R-A-N-D.com. Make sure you check out Milani uh, on Instagram, underscore M-O-L-A-N-I, underscore, or Milani Brand on Instagram. Yo, we got mad fire coming. We got more shit coming. So, like, the inventory is just crazy. So, make sure you yeah. fuck with Milani, fuck with Milani Brand, all that, all right? And, you know. You already know the vibes. I'm back, and I told you I had every color. I got gym fit. Back on the body, still fitting nice. I'm cozy today though, so I'm not in a gym, but I love it for on the go errands and just being cozy in the house. I'm keeping this on all day. I got some cute fuzzy socks on with it, a little beanie with it. Gym fits on the body. That's at Gym Fits Fitness. You already know the vibes. Hey, can we um, can we start potting now? Let's get into the podcast. Okay. Hey, listen. Potting is that what it, that term is called? Potting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't so, like that. You don't like that? No, it what sounds weird. I don't know, but just not potting. That sounds weird. You want to get to potting? Yeah, let's get into the shit right now. All right, let's get with the shit. All right, so look, um, because we were talking about Thanksgiving last time, and it's still holiday season because Christmas holiday. is on the way. Yeah, A lot of family going to be coming to the crib, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, because we're still talking about seasonal depression, and that's real, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, agree. All right, but for those who do have families, I want to know, where do you stand in a relationship if your parents don't like your significant other? Oh, so, uh, hmm. you know, it's a dub for you. My mom don't even fuck with you in real life. That's fine. I don't like no mama's boy. I tell you right now. Wow. I, I do not like mama's boys. So like, you know my mom's with yeah, no, no, it's deaf. But like, I don't like it. Like, and I think it's because like I've met mothers that are just too into they they almost want to date their son. Like, it's like stop it. Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, how do you, you like he can have a girlfriend. He don't need to 
run all her business past you and if you don't approve of something you nagging in his ear Absolutely. i do not do mama's boys and i'm very happy you're not a mama's boy wait 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 wait. i love my moms you love your moms but you're not a mama's boy like you don't like for you like i mean your mom would pry if you let her but <laughs> you don't let your mom like pry past a limit i feel like some men don't this their mom so they love them so much they don't want to put their foot down and they kind of let them like just trample over into their relationship where they had no they business want. doing see my mom never got into my personal life like which it could be a pro and a con to that but my mom is not in my personal life like unless i ask her to input into it but she really much so just lets me run my own show i do not like parents who overstep their boundaries into their sons or daughters lives just being too opinionated on what they're doing i'm grown but even going into the like the compliment that you gave me that i don't let my mom's overstep my our boundaries yeah that came from her though so like mm -hmm. she was the one that instilled that into me like yo uh when you get a well she actually she probably would be disappointed now but she always mm -hmm. was like when you get married that's when your wife comes before everybody except for yourself of course right. but um what about the question though? If you if if uh, so okay, so what I think is if my mom's didn't like you, if she ain't fuck with you, how would that like how would that go for long as it's respect? Like it's it's a difference between not really liking me and disrespecting me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So now as if every time she's coming over, she's doing little things that I'm just like I'm not dealing with, that could put a major stem into the relationship. I personally don't want that static. I think everybody goes in with the intentions of wanting their significant others parents or family to like them everybody would like that ideal situation but honestly that's not always the case me personally as long as the respect stays respect i think i actually seen a um, post one time about a girl living with her his her boyfriend and his mom and her the mom was always disrespectful and the boyfriend just basically was like be quiet like you can't say i ain't gonna lie to y'all I'm a grown ass woman. I pay my own bills. If I'm being disrespected, I do speak up. I'm not the type that I'm just going to be quiet. I could try my best to do it respectfully, but I'm not really the one who's just not going to say anything. I don't stand well to disrespect. And I mean, I don't even take it from my own parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? If my own parents is doing too much, I'm like, hold it. I'm a grown ass woman. I pay my own bills. So just to say, thankfully, that's not our situation. But me personally, Long as that disrespect, long as that respect line don't get crossed, we good. You don't have to like me. I'm but still that, fucking um, your son. Whoa, whoa, it's like, whoa. Just joking. Sheesh, but you're disrespectful. <laughs> so, no, but, but I mean that's not our case. But you know it is what it is. But do you um do you feel like uh is it your significant other's job to mend that relationship or make sure it doesn't go to disrespect? Do you how, so, how much accountability do you put on your so boyfriend at that point? I feel like you know you, sometimes though. I feel like, you know, our parents are from a different generation. And so a lot of them are stuck in their ways and they really probably won't get out of that because they're already getting older and they don't know any better, right? All that to say is you could put, you can't really put the pressure on the person to change the situation because they only could do but so much. So right. as long as you're doing the, like, you look, look, I want you to talk or we talk about it and we talk about it once and you try, but if it still doesn't go anywhere, I can't put that pressure on you because your par your parental just might not want to change. Like, you know what I mean? They might just start stuck in their ways, you know, and not want to move past their feelings. Like you can't expect, I can't, I can't expect them to change just because you're, you know, you tried and they just don't want to do it. Like it's not, it's, it's that's I unfair. Think, no, that's hundred percent. I think right. Like if your mom's didn't like me, uh, <sighs> I don't know, like, nobody parents never really not like me. So, like, that's a, a, a weird question. Not weird, yeah. but, like, it's hard because, like, I think I'm a likable person. Yeah. And if they don't like me, I'd probably be mad as shit. Like, yeah. fuck. Like, yeah. I want you to like me. Yeah. But if they didn't like me, it'd be like, oh, so well. Or, yeah. honestly, it'd be like, what can I do to help so, this situation? Yeah. Like, I, I just wouldn't be like, well, fuck them because yeah. it's still your parents. So, just like, I, yeah. I show my, my family respect. I, I want to show your family respect. And if, if they don't like me, that's going to be weird. And I right. don't want it to be weird. Right. No, so. definitely. Um, I had a mom that didn't like me when I was like 16. How many? A couple or just one? I had a mom that didn't like me Before when I was 16. Shit, but it's cool. I had a mom that didn't like me once when I was 16. I was dating this guy. And um, this was like the first time my mom actually accepted that I was old enough to like a boy, I guess. 
Um, so I was 16, and um, my mom finally approved of me having a friend. You know, they didn't call it your boyfriend at those, you know, a friend. But his mom was just not with the shits. But he kind of also did whatever he wanted to do. But his mom just was always saying things like, you know, you like her too much. You spend too much time with her. She's changing you or stuff that I don't think was going on. But because that was her son and she just, to me personally, needed something to blame it on. She constantly did take that on me. But we were 16, so I understand. I don't know. My 16-year-old son, I might not give him that much leeway either. If I see you coming in here, you know, your grades is down or something, and you got a little girlfriend, I'm going to tell you, dub your girlfriend too. Focus on your grades. But it doesn't mean it's the girlfriend. It nah, just facts. means he's just, like, not my focused, basically. My so. moms used to do like that. I feel like it's jealousy. Like, my moms used to be like, uh, you, like, mm -hmm. if I'm not doing good in school, like, you too busy running around here chasing this girl or whatever, mm -hmm. that's your grades not together, or you'll do all that for your girlfriend, but as soon as I ask you to do something, you can't mm -hmm. do something. <laughs> and it's like, my, like, God damn, her life. Yeah, she's definitely said that in our relationship now. I was talking about years ago. So you but she's definitely that. has said that now. She definitely did. She did. She likes me, but she's definitely said that before. She's definitely said, you do it right, like, and, and we grown and shit. She's definitely all has. Right, all right, all right. But I'm Shout not. Shout out to my, though. She's not. I mean, yeah, because I just she, feel like uh, parents get jealous, mom though. Like, love her, him so much. Like, yeah, I feel like parents get jealous, though, like, yeah. especially, like, boys' mothers. It's boy. No, it's really boys' mothers, because I don't really see a lot of girls' mothers or fathers that get jealous. Because y'all be fighting. Fine. Like, but women want to fight each other, like, as soon as your daughter get to, like, 18, 16 or whatever, now y'all beefing like y'all want to fight each other in real life. Like, I no, feel facts. Like I definitely, <laughs> speaking of that, I remember the one time my mom really boxed my shit up, like, squared up with me, and that's when I knew my mom had hands, for real. I was, like, I remember, I think I was, like, 16 going on 17, mm -hmm. and I don't know, we was in the car, and she was taking me to school. It might have been, like, my junior or senior year. I don't remember. Yo, I remember I said something. My mom smooth two piece me to the face. Like she wanted to fight me. Like that's how I knew. My mom used yeah. to kick my ass too. She used to hit me in my motherfucking chest. Like, but yeah. I guess it was because I was a boy. But we ain't even gonna, <laughs> we ain't even gonna go into the uh, <laughs> that shit because yeah. it was okay for her yeah. to hit me because I was a boy. Yeah. But oh no, my mom used to. Fuck me up. Deck that ass. Deck, like, fuck me up. Yo, and then when I remind her of it today, she'd be like, I never used to do that. I was like, yes, the fuck you did. Like, you can admit it. Like, we're grown. Facts. You definitely used to beat my ass. <laughs> like, yeah. So, but, I mean, like I said, as long as the respect there is with the parents and the significant other, as long as no boundary are across and the parent isn't being disrespectful or the spouse is being disrespectful to your parent, we good. You don't have to like me. We could just keep it cordial, be respectful. I'll try to mend it, and if you are just unwilling to mend it, look. Fuck you. I, it's not fuck you, it's but it's fuck you. Like, I ain't going to keep uh, yo, trying to go out my way to keep but trying to make about, you like me. I'm not even that type of person. But talking about, like, if, like, parents, right, while yeah. we're on here? Yeah. What about, because it's the holiday season? Mm-hmm. You know, like when you when you stand with your man or whatever, you stand mm -hmm. with your girlfriend and then like your parents come. And as a man, I know I'm used to like my woman catering to me. She making a yeah. plate. She uh cleaning up. Mm -hmm. She's serving me and everything. But then when your parent come home or your, your parent <laughs> visit, you know what I'm saying? Your mom's is so used to serving. So like then it goes into this whole girlfriend versus like your mom's situation. Like how do you deal with that? Like when the mom like kind of oversteps her boundary, but she just being her mother, your mother like. You hate that shit? Your mom definitely was doing this on Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, everything I was saying, she was like, oh, I got it. No worries. I'll get it for Jay. No worries. I was she was trying like, to help. But I understand she was trying to help. You know what I'm saying? But I was just like, honestly, go on, do it. Give me a break. Fuck. Like, go on, do it. Like, so you're not mad if, like, I wasn't mad. Um, if she I was, served me and you don't serve me? No, nah, no. Nah, I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad. The only thing I didn't like, like, you know, like I said, parents want that opportunity to still be a parent. Like, we're grown now, so any opportunity, they can be a parent. So she's at her house for Thanksgiving. The only thing I probably got a little irritated about was just, like, if I said something, she'd be like, no, but I'm going to just do it this way, like, whatever. And it's just like, this is my house. Hold up. Like, but <laughs> I'm not going to say that, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, she didn't mean anything by it. But, um, yeah, no, as far as serving your plate, go on. Take that. I, I, I don't mind. I would much love to for once sit and make my plate first and eat But I know it's something that's annoying. Myself. Like, But she probably didn't do it. Like, imagine she came over here like, no, nah, you're not supposed to make it mac and cheese like that. Make oh, it like so that. I made it very clear to Jay. And Jay brought it up as soon as she got here. I said, look, your mom 
I do not want nobody in my kitchen. Like, right, right, I said right. it like, I was like, I do not want any help. So when I was cooking, his mom sat right there and she just watched. She said, I'm just watching. I said, thank you, but do not ask me nothing about, don't tell me to move my turkey to the left. Don't tell me to put this mac, this cheese in my mac. Don't say, because I would have been like, okay, now <laughs> let's not do it. Right. But like, no, but it was fine. She, she was definitely, we vibed in the kitchen. She definitely was just, you know, watching and asking me. You know, fortunately, I was, I, I love, she was asking me how I made certain Caribbean dishes and stuff like that. So it was dope. We definitely vibed out. Do you think but, that that's another, um, is that also on the boyfriend or girlfriend to make that, make that understanding clear? Or I, I don't know the exact word mm -hmm. for it, but like just to, yeah, make that clear when they get here. Like, look, ma, she don't need help cooking. Don't try to overstep your I mind. mean, I think that very much helped because as soon as she got here, he was like, look, ma, shut it. I don't want nobody in the kitchen while she's cooking. And she was like, well, all right, okay. But if you didn't said that, say that, she might have, like, just chimed Charged, in. Yeah. And I would have been looking like, like. Right. How do you even, like, but how do you correct somebody's moms without being rude? Because even, like, what your mom's <sighs> like. Yeah, because Jay called my leave. mom rude. And, but, I didn't, but somebody said Jay that was rude. My, your mom told you it was rude. Yeah, my mom said that to call somebody so rude Jay is rude. So, called my mom rude. But how do you like <laughs> correct somebody's parent yeah, without so, being rude? So let me tell you, Shade Mom's come over here. She cooked this uh potato salad or whatever. And she's like, all right, I'm about to dip. I'm like, dip? What you mean dip? Like she's like, yeah, I, I got work tomorrow. Uh um, and then she don't, but she didn't say this at first. So it came to find out that she don't eat after a certain time. But she didn't say this. So all she was saying was. She got to leave. She like she got to work in the morning. Mm -hmm. She don't want to be tired. So I'm like, it's Thanksgiving. Like that's rude. Like what you mean? Like you about to leave? And my his, mom. Was, <laughs> his mom was like, um, it's rude to call people rude. So how do you like? How do you tell them <laughs> if somebody's being rude? But, how you you should have <laughs> seen my mom's face. I just there. I said, oh boy. My mom was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? But how do you like correct rude. somebody? <laughs> I was like, oh God, how do you here goes our Thanksgiving. <laughs> how do you correct somebody, a parent um, or somebody else's parent without being like, rude? Like, I just think like- Because I still think that was rude as shit. Like, it's Thanksgiving, like, eat with us, like- And that's fair. And I think Jay really, you know, he was, you know, he wanted her to stay for me and the family and stuff like that. So he was just like, that's rude. <laughs> like, and like, she cooks, but, she was up from right. six, six in the morning. We just had this argument. And even during the argument, I'm like, yo, you should still cook because it's bigger than us. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. it's like we're bringing our family together. Mm -hmm. And mind you, we, we talked about in 004 that we got in this big ass argument. So, like, we was about With to break up and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And I'm like, yo, nah, we got to cook because it's bigger than us. It's for yeah. our family. And for you to get here and be like, uh, yeah, I'm about to dip. Dip? Yeah, he's clearly so bad. Whatever. All right, you can stop dragging on my mom because I can keep dragging <laughs> but, on your mom. Because <laughs> right, right, right. you want to go mom for mom? What's up? Because look, it's like now, nah, but I totally understood where Jay was coming from. Um, uh, understanding slightly where my mom was coming from. But long story short, to answer your question, I don't really think there's a way that you can tell a parent, your parent or a, another person's parents, they're rude. I just feel like, you know, there's a certain sense of entitlement as a parent and as an elder that they already think they have. So no matter how you say it or what way you say it, they still can take it as like, who are you to tell me that right. kind of thing. And well, it's, outside you know, of being rude, how do you correct somebody's parent without being rude though? Um, like even if my mom, let's say I didn't yeah. say, mom, she didn't want nobody yeah. in there, right? And then she came in, she tried to yeah. tell you how to make some things yeah. and be like, hey, listen, I got it. Yeah. She probably still think that's rude. Like, yeah. oh, the audacity. Um, I really just think it's uh, the actual parent, who how receptive they are to the the response because like you know there's sometimes like i think your mom is fairly a little more understanding than my mom like to be honest like you know just in my mom okay with talk. feelings yeah but she'll talk about it yeah, she'll yeah, talk yeah, through right. it when well, my mom's in her feelings she don't want to talk to nobody you know what i'm saying but your mom might get in her feelings but she'll talk through it and say how she feels and you know go through no, the, the, you're right. you're like like go through the motion she's good with that my mom on the other hand she doesn't like to do that like if she in her feelings no thanks like Leave her be like she don't want to talk to you. She don't want to talk to nobody. So, well, that was um, what I had to talk about. Yeah, mm, you don't want. You know what I'm saying? You good? I mean, that was what I wanted to oh. talk about. I definitely want to get it because you have some good shit. Oh, man. well. So, um, I had my topic of was a little bit. My topic was spirituality in a relationship. 
So, and I don't know what my direct question around it is, but I guess is you That's know. That's because don't she don't appreciate the podcast like like I do. Why not? Because you ain't take the time to to bring your shit together and have your shit ready. So is it more about me having it ready, or I just feel like I'm a free spirit and I don't want to be scripted? Yo, I, like I want to talk about it in my way. But so that's the perfect way excuse the for not being guides me to do it. I have that's bullshit. I have things that I put here and are on my brain, but I don't want to be scripted through it. So even now, right now, I kind of know where I want to lead with it, right? Like, so you swear I'm not prepared, but I'm hella prepared. Oh, right, hella prepared. That's all that, I ain't gonna lie, that's that Shays to say hella all the time. But hella prepared. Yo, you know when niggas be like, I don't want it to be scripted. I, I want it to be like and it always free spirit. That's, that's AKA for, I don't prepare for shit. I don't take the time <laughs> to sit down and study, basically. That's like, not true. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't do, I'm not saying to do it for a test. Like, I'm not about to freehand a test, but if it's something about my thoughts and my opinions, I want it to roll for me. No, you're 100% me. right, but you were talking about spirituality. So, spirituality and relationships. So, off. one, I guess, like, one, people dating people who, like, say, if one person is spiritual, could they date somebody who is not spiritual? So, we're not talking about religion at all, just spiritual. Religion, spirituality, both. both. Like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> well... Like, could you, with your the way your faith is set up, mm -hmm. could you, I mean, obviously you're in a relationship now, but even prior to me, did you date people with, like, that was more so, like, not open to even talking about it or being a part of conversations of God and church or religion or spirituality or some type of higher divine source? Damn, so my ex wasn't, like, she ain't really believing that shit. She, I think she believed more into science. Yeah. So, like, with me, I feel like, Everybody's gonna be different. Mm -hmm. So honestly, so again with me, all the only thing I care about was being fair mm -hmm. and transparency. So as long as you can be open to what I believe in, even mm -hmm. if you don't believe in it, if you can be open to hearing yeah. what I'm saying yeah. or why it's worked for me, if you're open for it, then we good. Everybody's not gonna believe in what I believe in. Yeah. And honestly, that's why we even made this podcast. Again, the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube, uh Spotify, Google Podcasts, uh Apple Podcasts, all that. But the subtle plug, but yeah, yes. I was gonna say a little <laughs> subtle plug, like but nah, that. um, that's why you got into this because we are so different, yeah. and understanding that being different is okay, yeah, is this acceptance. With a lot of us, ask for things that we don't give necessarily, right. right? Like forgiveness and acceptance. So it's like we want to be accepted, but we don't want to accept nobody. So, saying all that to say, I could date somebody, it would be hard for sure because I believe in what I believe in, but it's so, like, so you go from so. You know, obviously there's the dating stage, but could you move forward past the dating stage? So, like, for example, like you, they're, they're open to the conversation, but they just don't believe in God. Could you go farther with somebody, like, who yeah. just is open about not believing in God? So I've done it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my ex, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I feel like that will eventually sp spill over into your relationship. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. not believing in a, a particular thing not saying there's nothing wrong with not believing in it mm -hmm. but eventually that shows how they move in their life yeah and a lot of times those are the things that yeah. you don't like yeah. you know what i'm saying it's not really what you believe in but it falls down to that yeah. because because you don't believe in this you won't make this decision or because yeah. you because you don't believe in this you will make this decision which i might not agree with yeah. and then too many of those that's when it yeah. comes to like oh nah maybe we should just part out yeah yeah and that's really how i look at it Whew. so Mm. But you are atheist though, so like I ain't no motherfucking atheist. Oh, right. the hell! I thought you believed in like, like. What do I believe in? You better and say it right. What do I believe in? Like science and shit. Like that's what evolution. I believe in. What do I believe in? Oh, Judaism. What the fuck, bro? What? What do I believe in? Uh. Kwanzaa. I'm about to. <laughs> 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 Sorry, sorry. So, okay, so boom. So to answer that question, I do believe in God. I believe that we all do pray to this same God. It's really just one highest of power, the most high. Whether you are a Buddhist, whether you are a Christian, Catholic, we are actually all praying to the same God. Mm -hmm. I do not believe there is a split off of that. Um, but all that to say is um, I also believe in, um, you know, uh, spirit and just like you know uh, the soul and you know good hearts and Karma you know you know you know exactly so all that to say is right so I've dated you know don't, how many people don't don't because I wasn't even about to put no motherfucking number on it 
I wasn't gonna even say no number. Yeah, Wusa. just Wusa, you motherfucker. Matter of fact, pour some more. I'm, I'm still drinking. Because you, Put this I'm shit about down, to bro. Ride, drive your boat. So, all I say, I've dated men who don't really believe. Men, that's a number. That's more than one. So, you don't know that I dated one, more than one person in my whole life? You just the first. Yeah, basically. So. No. <laughs> You the last, babe. You the last. So I've dated men who don't directly um, care. Like, if that makes sense. Like, damn. Like, so boom. Like, that's what why I'm so saying. fucked up. It's like, damn. Like, Where the fuck am I fucked up? I love you, man. Where love the you. fuck am I fucked up? Yo, try to give Ooh, me a child. little shoulder kiss to like brush it off my shoulder. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you ain't fucked up. So anyway. So, which, to answer that real quickly, yes, you do have to detox and do a little box cleanse when you do deal with people who do insert these type of on. Why are you talking about your box on the fucking camera? Because, like, girls need to know to go get you a nice little vag steam to cleanse all the so burdens and that you left in your wombs from all past so relations. Yes. That, that, that. Yes, subtle plug. Get you a nice little vaginal steam, clear your wound. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Why do you want people to envision your vagina? That's they not envisioning. They're envisioning them getting their whole vaginal steam Niggas of releasing all type of little about... devils and demons that you dealt with in the past. And I'm sure it's a nigga somewhere that's looking at this podcast or listening to this podcast thinking like, damn, all that shit coming out I her. I wonder what the fuck her box look like. That's what yeah, he's saying. Yeah, all, 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 all these demons coming out her box. Mm. <laughs> that's what he's <laughs> like. That shit Little boogeyman good. coming out your box. Just that like, shit look good. Right. There's some weirdos on here. That nigga probably like... <laughs> Damn, I love to suck them demons out your box. Like what? Like he want? He like, let me, like let me. He probably somewhere like let me be your your vaginal cleans. I I suck them demons right out your box. Like, or maybe you I just, got a fucked up mind, bro. I'm, yo, it's niggas out here worse than me. You like your mind is messed. My shit go no, everywhere. So I don't play that. That's why you fucked up. That's, <laughs> that's why you fucked up. I because you been de- dealing with atheists and shit and got you thinking like shit like that. So all that to say is, um, it doesn't work for me because, and I really, do, at, at the age I am now, like, you know, we, hoping that this is our last and we move forward and get married. But like, you know, if we didn't, God forbid, did not do that, I cannot move forward with anybody who's not spiritually re- aligned in some way. You gotta be because equ- equally yoked. Equally we do have to be equally yoked. And the reason why is because, um, you know, all through your life, I think the major goal is to, at some point start living your highest of self. Like you 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 are going into your furthest potential. You're 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 doing the works of what you were put here to do, your passion, your purpose. And I feel that is all fed through soul and spirit. Like that's mm. not something that's just happening, you know, carelessly. You know what I mean? You putting in a lot of work to that. And I feel like people who don't have a high sense of faith and um some type of prayer lifestyle and m- even like prayers similar to meditation basically you know mm-hmm. but talking to your higher source who have created you and give you this life and 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 having them a part of your life i don't feel like you can go that far you're right without yeah. that so if i can't have a partner who's not interested in that because you're still going to stay here i'm going to go here and we're going to not be on the same page at some point we have to be elevating in spirit and spirituality together to get to that higher source so, so i personally if, don't want to do that ever again in my life let's let's go yeah. into let's go into this deeper right mm-hmm. what if you got somebody that's full blown, fully blown inserted in their religion right okay and like one of those people that we would call quote unquote a church person mm-hmm. so like now they're like picking at every single single thing yeah. you do because it's not the lord's way yeah. or let's say they, they they believe in a different religion than you yeah. and they they are the type of person to be like, well, there's no such thing as God. I believe yeah. in Allah. Just example, yeah. right? But they look at they they downplay your religion. How would you deal with that, though? So I believe the highest form of just spirituality and love for God is authenticity. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, but with that, you have to be learning a lifestyle of righteousness, right? So I don't want. I don't think. I could deal with anybody who's pressuring me into doing their biblical versions right. of the Lord's work. Makes you know sense. what I mean? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I'm not saying there's a truth in everything that's 
written. You right. know what I'm saying? But I do believe that no matter what, as long as we're working every day to live at righteous, as righteous as possible, then and you allow me to be where I'm at and grow each and every day, that is the type of person I want to be to. Because that, that shows me that I, I am God accepts me for myself. No 100%. matter what stage I'm at, he accepts me. And as long as I'm doing the work to Get be better. a reflection of God <laughs> each and every day, that is Just more enough. than enough. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So don't pressure me to, oh, you got to stop doing this right now. You got to do that. Because God didn't say I had to be perfect. And if right. you're trying to make me perfect, we are already out of tune. Facts. Like, What do you think about, all right, this is, this is random, right, before we move on <clears throat> to everything that's popping. Yo, what do you think about the saying, because I feel like this happens a lot now nowadays, the saying that I'm not really religious, I'm spiritual. Ooh. Um, so I think it is, um, I think it's absolutely, it makes a lot of sense to me because, um, you know, again, because I'm a person who believes there is just one God and we're really praying to the same God, I feel like religion just divided that in its way. So whatever, what, like I said, whatever, whether you believe in Buddhism, you're a Catholic, you're a med, med, uh, Methodist, Medi oh. you're a Baptist, it does not really matter. I think we are praying to the same higher source. So all that to say, religion, I feel like sometimes does do what you just said. Separate they, they separate you and they put that that um they put that stigma, stigma of what you have to follow in order to be this religion right like to me that's more cult fraternity sorority behavior 100 you so, know what i mean it's not you know what i mean so uh I, I don't think it's i think you definitely have to know where you stand and if you're there's nothing wrong with being a buddhist there's nothing wrong with being a methodist but i just think you need to know where you stand and what ground you stand that's why you know for a long time, like, I was a little confused because I was like, you know. You ain't I've drinking your wine either, but you're talking all this spiritual talk. You ain't drinking the wine. <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, drink your wine, baby. We got some bread. Look at my pretty baby over there with all that hair. Um, so all that to say is um, I don't, I, I went through a time where I was confused because I was like, wow, like, I don't want to be categorized as something because I'm still unsure of all the facts. Right, that's 100. You know what I'm saying? And and I think I grew up as a Christian though. Like right. I I, I spent I spent my whole life on a Christian church. I grew up as a Christian, and I do believe in God, and I do believe Jesus, and I do believe certain things. But I cannot prove and understand everything in its entirety. So I don't like to just say I'm that because so, until I can, you know what I mean, fully understand the you know. You know, but either way, I love God and I believe in God. So, so my thing is, <clears throat> if you don't know who you're not, this is not even mm -hmm. my thing. Somebody said this to me. If you don't know who you're praying to, how you know if you're going to go to, or if you don't know who you're praying to, how can you pray to that person? One, and then secondly, how can you go to a a higher spiritual level mm -hmm. after you pass if you don't even know if you're praying to the right person? <clears throat> so I also again depending on what religion you choose to believe in that even depends if you believe in heaven or hell or not mm. right so mm -hmm. that, that 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 that's just really one thing some people do not believe in heaven or hell some people think you come back in different forms each lifetime some people think I you hope ascend. that's the case because all right some people think you do what they did in lucy and you get to your highest self and you are now one and you're you everywhere explode. you're Boom. Now, you are now a god like god like you know what i mean and they say you are to be godlike until you are like a god. Like, I you am know a what god. I mean? Exactly. So Shout out to Kanye. Oh, exactly. So um, all that to say, um, first question. Shit, I got tongue tied. First question was, it's the mimosa. Come on, what's Hey, drink your wine. Well, the first question was, um, <clears throat> so I make sure I answer it properly. If somebody, well, you already answered it when I was like, if somebody is overly um, into their religion. Yeah. And no, just the you. question. You oh, just the question before, right it, I was just saying that if, you like how can you pray to somebody that you don't believe in okay boom so how could you pray? or you don't know like, how all do right you... so what i do know is that i'm a walking testimony of god's miracles so but who is god how, how it can be a lie it could be it, it doesn't matter because it's the higher source Facts. like like whatever that higher source is to you it doesn't matter but we all know that there is a higher source mm -hmm. regardless of what form you want to put it in if you want to put it into a face of 
you know, a big nigga with a belly, if you want to put it into a big nigga with a belly, you know, a Buddha. But if you want to put it into a form of this or that, it doesn't matter. We just know that there's a higher source or we would not be here. I agree with you. We also can feel that higher source in times of needs when we when we need to be comforted and we don't know who's holding us and who's getting us through we know that there's something along that line that is sustaining us every single day i personally seen enough miracles to believe there is a god that's 100 god has transformed and done things for me that i did not think was possible so i don't need confirmation for somebody to tell me that there's a higher source you get what i'm saying i've seen it on my own i agree with you i think that um when it comes to the saying that i'm not religious i'm spiritual when it comes to the saying that i'm not <laughs> when it comes to the uh <laughs> the saying that I'm not religious and more spiritual, I believe everything you just said. So mm-hmm. I just want to put that out there. Mm-hmm. However, when it comes to that, I think it's an excuse. And I think it is an excuse because a lot of us can take the extra time to go out and see mm-hmm. who we really believe in. Mm-hmm. But we don't because mm-hmm. this just, I just think this new day and age and I'm I'm a walking mm-hmm. testament of that excuse as well because mm-hmm. I, I say the same thing. I'm not really religious. I'm spiritual, but mm-hmm. I'm also going to take a step back and look in the mirror. And I think yeah. we do lo- use it as a crutch and an excuse mm-hmm. because we can go out there and mm-hmm. learn about each religion. Mm-hmm. We can go out there and look it up and see what makes more mm-hmm. sense to us and believe in that and mm-hmm. follow those footsteps. But mm-hmm. because each religion has rules, a mm-hmm. lot of us don't want to follow mm-hmm. rules. Mm-hmm. A lot of us don't don't mm-hmm. want to commit ourselves mm-hmm. to these lives, lifestyles. And so, and to not commit ourselves to these mm-hmm. lifestyles, we be like, you know what? I ain't mm-hmm. religious. I'm mm-hmm. spiritual. Mm-hmm. And again, I'm saying I'm one of those people. Yeah. So I'm no, I'm not no exception yeah. Yeah. it's just i do believe that it's it is crazy. an excuse and i mean so it's crazy because you know um you know i've read the bible i don't understand the bible still mm-hmm. so there's been times that i like i've read the whole bible like through paragraphs you know as growing up like you go to sunday school like you read through the bible whatever mm-hmm. i've tried to go back and read the bible in sections to get full understandings is still hard. I do believe that you will have to keep recycling that cycle until those messages can apply to you. I've read pages of the Quran. You get what I'm saying? I've read pages of the Quran, not pages like chapters. Like, you know, I actually read chapters of the Quran and and these certain things. And I think that, you know, like me, for example, I still go to a Christian church. Mm -hmm. You know, I listen to the word, but I think it's a journey. And I think that it could be an excuse, and I'm not saying that it's not, because we could do better at doing the work of finding these answers, but I also think it's a part of your journey. Mm-hmm. I think throughout your journey, you're going to be led to these sources numerous of times to figure out where you stand. Right. And it's up to you to choose to take on, again, that level of righteousness to not do or do things to make you be higher in spiritual self or religion self like you know what i mean so i think we're just all on that journey and some things sometimes we go through certain things that brings us back to a source you know what i'm saying every time i'm in a mode where i'm just kind of like ungrounded i can't figure out some things i always go back to church because that's where i find my grounding i think i said that in 004 so whenever i go to church i'm reminded that i do believe in jesus christ Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that might be the religion for me have i Have I been saved? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have I been accepted into Christ? Yes. So there's times that I do still need to repent and where I've fallen short because I don't always walk in that light because I'm still unsure. And I think that God over time will continuously reveal that to me no matter what. That's absolutely right. When it comes to reading the Bible, I think that um, one is just like anything else. Like you, you don't just go to college or go to school you understand the math problem. You go mm-hmm. to school and they teach you the math problem. Mm-hmm. So that's what church is for. That's what Bible study is for. Mm-hmm. You go and they break down the Bible. Mm-hmm. That's one way I look at it, right? The other way I look at it is, from my experience, the Bible is literally broken down into your life. Yeah. So the things that you don't understand are the things that don't, don't apply to you because yeah. the Bible yep, to me exactly. is for all of us. Yep. So I can have a scripture that goes hand in hand into my experiences yep. and then I can have a scripture that I just don't even believe yep. in. Until you <clears throat> until actually I, need to exactly. see it. Exactly. Yeah. So that's just, that's how I look that, at it. That was but, a great, that was a great way to put that. Yeah. 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 And that's just for anybody who feels like, you know, guilty for being unsure. I don't think you should feel guilty for that at all. Okay. I think you should continue to do your it. research and embrace it and look into more information. And like I always say, I'm never trying to sway anybody to anything. Never. Like I think that whatever you lie with and whatever resonates with your soul the most, that's exactly what you need to go forward to. You don't have to stay here or stay there or, you know, so like something I know that's common, like, you know, for example, uh, Christians marrying Muslims, mm-hmm. right? And then they end up in a situation where 
their values and what they celebrate and what they believe in completely don't structure so their household gets divided because like for example muslims don't uh, celebrate christmas mm -hmm. christians celebrate christmas. jesus's birthday on right. christmas like you know what i mean and things like that um so it even like it's funny because you know one of the janitors at my job i always speak to the janitors that's my policy you always are very friendly the janitor is my friend i say all the time that's good. he's a uh, hispanic though and he says that he doesn't celebrate you know and all my hispanic friends they don't celebrate Christmas on Christmas, they celebrate there is New Year's Eve mm. because they say that that's the day you celebrate Christmas, it's Christmas Day, you're supposed to rest. But it's just all these things that, you know, people, you know, have their view and their thinking and their logics on of how they, even like Seventh day Adventists, they don't go to church on Sundays, they go to church on Saturdays because they believe that Jesus did everything he did in the six days and he rested on the Sunday and just things of these natures, you know. But all that to say, I'm in church on Sunday, it's my Chick fil A. <laughs> but no, uh, uh, I be in church on Monday because I be watching church online. Yo, shout I out to not Wyman, yo. get to go to church every because he got these hot ass lights on us right now. I know I'm it is. Sweating. A little, I'm sweating. We need to turn the air on. But shout out to our guy Wyman because he getting us right with the lights. Yep. Um, yo, but I fuck with Muslims. Fuck out. Shout yo, out to all my Muslim I fuck brothers. With Muslims and I usually heavy. I like how they, I do. I like how they carry themselves. We good. We good. I like how they carry themselves. I like what they believe in. Yeah. And I used to say the only reason why I couldn't be a Muslim is because I love uh, bacon. But now I haven't eaten. Eat I don't eat it. Yeah. I haven't. It's crazy. Like, um, so watch out. I'll their values that they value is just like phenomenal. Yeah, I think those are phenomenal core values to have. Yeah. Shout so out to my Muslim brothers. Yeah, so shout out to Muslims <clears throat> because I think there's definitely something that, you know, and I always respect. Like, I go into a gas station and I love when I see them put up the sign, like, give me two minutes. I'm praying. And you can see them mm -hmm. pull out the car. I think it's the most phenomenal thing. I, I seen love it. Yeah, I see. I've seen it a lot. For real? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, like, yeah, like you'll go in and they'll sign be like, please give me a minute. I'm praying. If you look to the right, they got that carpet out and they're praying. I always wait pa patiently and I always tip them because I feel like. Wait, you tip them at the gas station? Yeah, I always give them a tip. Yeah. Oh, you're different. I yeah. never, because I I never tip dope. the gas. Like for you to stop, you know, I think it's already hard that people stop in the middle of their day to pray. Like people always end up praying at night or pray in the morning or they just pray when they need something. Right. I think it's dope that you take out the time of your day to always recognize and talk to God, like, and, and, and say your prayers of thank yous and gratitude and all these things, you have to have a moment to stop. The fact that they constantly think to stop and pray, I think that's phenomenal. Nah, damn. I think that's phenomenal. Shout out to you for tipping the yeah. motherfucking uh Yeah, I had to tip him. He was praying, and station. I appreciate that, because it reminded me to pray. I went in the car, and I prayed while I was pumping my gas. Yep, that's it. That's it. Go, $100. Hey, that's um. It was only two dollars. Let's pay these bills, even though they ain't paying the bills. Period. Um, <laughs> soon come, soon come. <laughs> hey, I haven't talked to this lady in so long, but maybe that's my fault. So yeah. Well, shout is. out. When the last time you talked to her? I talked to Credit Goddess like two days ago. What's she yeah, saying? Because we comment on each other's stories all the times, and we're always encouraging each other. And she was pumping her, her, her w woman thing. No, she was pumping. Oh, that's who Find she's it. pumping her cl her class that she was putting out where she's teaching people how to remove and get these things done on their credit not only for themselves but so they can make extra money mm -hmm. and i think that's dope she's teaching guys how to get to the bag and teach the bag um also so she had yeah she had a she had a class today shout out to her sunday december 15th 12 4 credit goddess had a jump start your career in credit counseling and learn how to un learn how to earn up to 10 to 20k a month she by do we? Yeah, she did. And I promoted this, so you oh, knew this. Wow, wow. Um, also, of course, her uh, financial guide and planner was coming out. So we're still talking about that. So excited that her project is fully done and it's going out. And anybody who pre-ordered will be getting theirs soon. And it's also open for orders. So I thought that was dope. She also does um, her Rent Halo. If you can't get into an apartment, she can get you in. Holla at her. So shout out to Credit Goddess because she's really doing a damn thing. And I really love that she did some giveaways for Christmas and she's probably going to do some more. So make sure you follow credit underscore goddess because she is definitely giving you opportunities to not only get in the places that you need to get into if you need help, but also win some extra money, get some things removed on your credit for free. So, hey, um, <clears throat> shout out to the credit goddess. Shout hey, out look. To credit underscore goddess we um we've been doing this for uh this is five episodes really seven you know what i'm saying we almost halfway to our goal for our live podcast yeah, Can you yeah. Believe and that? it's not even really the goal for the live it's really just the goal of consistency yeah i don't yeah. know why i got 12 from it was just like yo if we I can like get it. two if we can get 12 
we we show that we're serious yeah right so yeah. like not even because we might not i don't know yeah. we haven't talked about this we might yeah. not do the live at 12. Yeah. We, we don't know yeah you know what I'm yeah we're gonna decide yeah it's just that i think 12 is like that's a number of yeah. consistency like we i did. like it and um but yo you see us is growing mm-hmm. as expeditiously mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's growing fast uh, okay ti if you got a brand yo please support us we support you uh right now we are small so what you just want? Let me know. We, we, what you want us to do for you? You know what I'm saying? We might accept some free stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, to promote. It ain't right gonna now. be like that. Soon. You know what I'm saying? Very so, soon. If you got something, uh definitely continue to support us. Let us know about your brand so we can um share it. Uh I just hit we just hit fifteen thousand on a YouTube channel. You already Make sure you subscribe. Uh the Gemini Scorpio Podcast, YouTube, Apple Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, all that. Um we had like 600 plays on anchor that's combined with all the uh the streaming yeah. and then we still got youtube and still got yeah. instagram tv appreciate so we, y'all we are we we really appreciate y'all for rocking with us 100 percent. we know you know not real we you know it's, it's it's crazy because we're just being us and raw and honest and to know that you guys relate or can talk to us and give us the feedback the feedback is phenomenal so please keep doing that because yeah. it allows us to see that we are relating with people and people do relate with us. So, but back to the brands. Look, if you got something, yo, please uh, don't let be afraid don't to be reach out to us. Out. Yeah, and just let us know you want to yeah, uh, promote I tried this. Out, we'll... But we're going to give the honest review. So, don't yeah. let that shit be trash. Like, yeah, don't give do me that. no skincare products. Because honestly, I've been breaking out, you know, this is my week, y'all. Y'all know what that means. And I've been breaking out. So, I, you know what I'm saying? But don't give me no sh- shitty skincare product and my face start going crazy because I'm going to blast you. Facts. Period. Poo. Hey, can we get into the shit now? All right. The shits. Good? That's what I'm going to have to call tea it. The shits. Time. Bow, 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 bow. It ain't tea time. It's the shits. The I'm about shits. to get into the shits. <laughs> Yo, can you pull me up? You call, you call it what you want. I call it what I want. Um, First thing on the agenda today is... The pageant. And it's going crazy. Shout out to all my black women. I black love... Queens. I just love, love, love black queens Excellent. really just showing out for the culture, winning what Miss USA, Miss Universe, Miss World, Miss Teen USA, Miss like France. just Miss France, just all beautiful black phenomenal queens. Sorry if I missed one. I think I got all of them. But either way, but the one thing I want to highlight about that, did you see how Miss Nigeria reacted when Miss Jamaica won oh, Miss World? Shout out to the black oh, girl magic. Shout out to Wale God. for that. Oh my God. That is how you cheer on your sister. You be happy for your sister's wins. Everybody's win is our wins. We are each other's wins each and every time. I really enjoyed watching her, you know, just like love on her and be so happy as if it was her own win. So shout out to Miss Nigeria because that is a way. You hold down your sister. 100%. Shout out to her. I fuck with that. Shout out to our black queens. It means a lot because this is the first time that a black girl won Mrs. World or? It was, damn. I think it was the first Miss Universe, I want to say. That's the first time a black girl won Miss Universe. Okay. Um, And it might be a couple of them, to be honest, so. Yeah, so look at shout, so listen. <laughs> shout out to my my with Alex the plug was here. like, yeah, she's so, being a little producer. Our producer is not here, so shout out to like Amaya. She came out like, yes, she's like, she's the first. <laughs> shout, shout out to, out to baby <laughs> my my but, for um, the producing cred. Love yeah. you, Wookie. But nah, man, it's, it's it's not really too much to say about <laughs> that because it's just like shout out yeah. to them. Yeah, shout out to them. Just keep spreading this black girl magic. We're gonna keep letting them know that black girls shut this shit down. And I'm talking about black girls in every country. Like, you know, black girls is just not black Americans, it's black uh, like we're all like look, come sisters. on, we're yeah. all brothers and sisters. Yo, that's connected. crazy because as long we got, as we share this beautiful skin and this melatonin, we're we got like three one. things back, like back to back. Yeah. Talking about like black, black girls. Yeah, I magic, love it. You know I saying? love it. Let's so, go. But Come I'm on, like Jay. Hey, you know. You have to piss me off in two, three, two, one. Go ahead. So we're talking about Queen and Slim. Mm-hmm. I, it's, it's been a while now. So don't hit me with the uh y'all spoiling it. We can talk about this shit now. Yeah. Y'all, if you ain't sitting now, you late. You, yeah, yeah, you, you late. ain't gonna go so, see it. Because so, we late okay. talking about it. So we can talk about this now. Mm. Queen and Slim. Go on, say yeah to the fucking answer. Cause you about to piss me <clears> off. I think it's okay. I think it's good, but it's it's like it ain't all that. Like, yeah, it's, it's black power to our people, but it's just I don't think it's is is not relatable. I don't think it's real, like believable. Um, I forgot the word for it, but I'm gonna just say I don't think it's it's believable. Like, first of all, they on a date. He met her on Tinder, my nigga. 
You supposed to be trying to smash and get the fuck out. Like, smash and pass. Like, you met her on Tinder. All my niggas, all my homies know that we ain't on Tinder looking for no girlfriend. I mean, and if you are, shout out to you. Not yeah, let really. Let me stop you where you're wrong. Let me stop you where you're wrong. My good girlfriend got married to a great guy who is a lawyer, had all his shit in order from Tinder. And again, I'm pretty sure he's... From Tinder. Shout out to him, but he's probably so don't, still don't corny. don't discourage people... Corny and successful in a loving man. Facts. Does that, does that, does, kudos. Because they call Russell Wilson corny, and Russell Wilson, come on, like if you put him in a category, call, he's yeah, maybe. he's <clears throat> shitting on niggas. Facts, no, if, facts. if you got to check off boxes, he's and I, shitting on niggas. Niggas say he's corny all the time. Right. I'm not but shitting. He's on, I'm not shitting on nobody. A great dad. Right. Successful, highest paid NFL player in the league. I'm Fuck out of here. I'm not shitting on nobody. What I'm saying is, my niggas, where we come from. We ain't on Tinder looking All for your no niggas is not fucking the best of niggas either. I ain't say we the best. I just said exactly. we Exactly. No, I never but said nothing about being mean, the best. I just said we not on Tinder no. looking for a girlfriend. But okay, but what I'm saying is it doesn't mean that there is some great guys on Tinder. Because like I said, shout out to my girl. I ain't going to say her name and they business. But they was to get, they've been together two years and now, and now they're married. Shout out to Off the of Tinder, Tinder plug. Whatever. That's like... First of all, they on Tinder. So if y'all need to go on Tinder and find y'all man, go ahead, sis. They do what you, you got to do. No, they're not fucking paying me, but I support my sisters finding love, and it is a hard dating life, okay? It is a very hard dating life out here. I'm saying it's Tinder paying you because you No, Tinder's Tinder. not paying me. I'm just saying that I know my my friends have found, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our, <laughs> our, 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 our camera guy and just everything. I fuck with it. Look. I'm just saying, I'm not on Period. Tinder. Look. Shout out to I, Tinder, like I, I said. Because uh, it's giving people love and hope. I don't give you a fuck. What I'm, saying, what I'm saying is, <laughs> listen, I've never been on Tinder, but what I heard from it, me and my homies, niggas put the chicks from Tinder in the chat but like, these, yo. You know, let me tell you why. Thought, these thought, niggas trying, will, you know but saying? these niggas will date a bitch from the club. Euphoria. These the same niggas talking about don't date bitches on Tinder, but date a bitch in Euphoria. Get the fuck, son. Your chances is real. Just <laughs> bear, bear All right, boo. whatever. So that's one thing. That's, <laughs> that was, that's, yeah, whatever. That's one right, thing. Right, right. The second thing is the date wasn't even good. Like, they weren't even enjoying themselves. Oh and next God. thing you know, she's taking a bullet for this But nigga. they, what, were, why wasn't they enjoying themselves? They because, did. okay, boom. She admitted to try- him. She admitted to him she, she did take the date because she was bored and she needed some company. But their conversation, he did charm her in that conversation, which is why he was able to even have a decent conversation with her in a car. It was all right. What? No, he it they was, wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. What movie bad. was you watching? We were watching was tra- the same he was driving. Movie. He was driving, right? She just said, you can't stay. She right. Said, you're going to drive then, me and home. Then, and then he was like, I mean, what you doing after? He was like, yeah, she was like, you're not about to fuck. Nightcap. It was no okay, exactly. That's not like, a good date. But, Wow. Like if I'm driving out and so I'm like, if you don't fuck. It's not a good day. No, no, that's Note not. It. That's not what I'm saying. Note it. If I'm driving, if, if I'm taking you home, right, and then I'm like, yo, What's what that? you about to do after this? You're right? going to take me home, right? And I'm like, I mean, <laughs> I was trying to, you know, what I'm saying, you're going to take right. me home. I'm not saying that. I'm not disagreeing with that. But as a woman, from my point, as a woman, I, <laughs> you're not a woman, <laughs> right? So as a woman, from my perspective, what I see in women. If a nigga trying to fuck and you not with the shits, it's not a good date because he's trying to sorry, fuck and you. I'm sorry, that does not, that's not true. So you easy? The that's fuck not true. No, I'm so saying, I'm trying to, so if a nigga I'm trying saying, to fuck if you, you trying to fuck date, and I'm not, I'm good, you're going to take me no, home. No, but you're missing my point. What I'm saying is, if a nigga is trying to fuck you on the first date and you're not going for it, you mean to tell me you're going to give him another chance? So, boom. If. He Answer the question, man. Me. First of all, all y'all niggas want to fuck. If he's trying to fuck you on the excuse first me, date. Excuse me, excuse me. All y'all niggas trying to fuck on the first date, period. That's not right? true. That's not there's true. A, okay, sure. There, but if there's a girl who's not with the shit, it doesn't mean she don't like you. You're just not about to hit on the first date. So you're telling me. So yeah, I could potentially go on a second date with you. You're just not about to hit on the first date. That's what. Listen, yeah, but, as, a, as, as my girlfriend, please don't, don't ever share that again. What I'm saying is, what, if I, were, I want you to have more respect for yourself. If a nigga, if a nigga trying to fuck you on a first date, don't dub this one. nigga. Like, why are you My like, nigga, they're all trying to fuck on a first no, date. No, they not. Yes, they like, So, all right, hold on, hold on. All y'all niggas no, no, no. will fuck no, no, on no, a first pause. date. We will, we will. Whether you like us no. or you don't like us. We will, but what I'm saying Whether is. Whether you like us or you don't like us, you're going to try to fuck on the first date. And if we say no, you are going to take a second date as well because what, you no, still want to fuck. You're missing my point. What I'm saying is, a nigga that really, that's into you or has respect, He's, if he's, not even respect, if he sees something in you, he's going to be like, you know what, I'm going to play my cards right. So I'm not even going to say the wrong thing. So if we do it, we do it. I'm not saying that we're not trying to. Again, however, what I'm saying is, if I put it out there like I'm trying to bust it down, 
I really don't care. But he didn't wallet. He just was like, so what we doing after? She said, you're taking me home. He just was like, <clears throat> all right. He didn't say, all right, well, he didn't say nothing. He just said, what we doing after? And she said, you're taking me home. Period. All right, so another thing, what I was saying, I'm going on my review, right? My, my review of Queen and Slim. Thirdly, <clears throat> again, I don't give a fuck about y'all. I ain't scared of y'all. Y'all can counsel me all y'all want. But the movie is a depiction of Woman, sometimes y'all need to just chill the fuck out because they probably wouldn't even been in that situation. Like, my nigga, like, you ain't had to get out the car. You ain't had to do none of that. Yeah, he probably got locked up, but at least we wouldn't have got killed. We wouldn't have been on a run for, like, I don't. Okay. Oh, hold up. Hold up. What I'm saying is. you about to yeah, drag on. Uh, uh, listen, man. I hope y'all don't think I sound angry. Mm. But what I'm saying, through my experience, not a movie. And sometimes cops be wilding. Some cops be wilding. Like, sometimes. Yeah, nah, a they, lot yeah, of times. They be wilding. And we're going to talk about that video we just saw, too. A lot of times. But what I'm just saying is, like, I don't think she necessarily made it better. Just because you're a lawyer, sometimes, like, women, or not even just women, humans, per people, period. Because you know something, you think you can control the situation when that's, that makes it worse. Let's because start. now, Come because, on. yeah, let's talk. <clears throat> uh, uh. Come on, talk about it. Because I'm about to. All jokes serve aside, you all, all, all jokes aside. So now, serve you up? Like, sometimes, like, because you know something, it, do, it doesn't necessarily make the situation worse. Because now what you do is you make the other person feel less than themselves. So when you're in the, when they're in a car and you're flexing, it ain't, like, I understand what she's trying to do, but to somebody that don't know no better, you're flexing. Like, to somebody that's ignorant as the cop, as he was, you're flexing and you're shitting on him, even though that's what, that you wasn't trying to do that, right? What I'm saying is sometimes it's just better to just be quiet. Can I go? <clears throat> is it better for me to be quiet? No, go ahead. Go ahead, can go, ahead. I go? go ahead. First of all, shout out to a black woman that's a lawyer. One. Sh okay? Yeah, shout out to her. So shout out to her. I ain't second taking nothing about, I ain't that away from her. Second of all, second of all, when you know your rights, you do not have to be quiet. That's what they want no. you to do is be quiet. I'm sorry. You stand you your bet. fucking ground. He was dead ass wrong. And as a lawyer, she knew her rights and she is so entitled to say this and the thing is that a lot of people get it fucked up on is the fact that we have to be scared and not be in fear of not saying our rights in case they are intimidated by their fucking ego of just masculinity and being this cop that can do whatever the fuck they want that they could just say anything no i don't agree. that is not the way to lead the people to I tell them that just because you know something you don't have to say because you don't know how they're gonna take it fuck how they take it no my nigga that is my right i don't agree that is my right and what i'm gonna say that is, is my right that's what martin luther king fought for like no Shade. Shade. no she is a lawyer who knows her rights you think for one second i'm sorry if you think for one second i've been a paralegal I know a lot of my rights. You feel what I'm saying? If you think one second cop pulls us over and they do some shit they're not supposed to do, if you think I'm going to sit there and be quiet, you're absolutely wrong. I'm not saying that. You're to be absolutely wrong. And if I'm arrogant about it because he's fucking ignorant, clearly he doesn't know his fucking job. And yes, you're not doing what you're so fucking supposed no, to be No, I don't agree. Like, Period. Don't, no. if, if we have a son, we don't, don't ever tell my son that. Because, what? because and, and what? I get I get what you're saying, but don't tell my son that because it's really like a a, a a true black American story. What I'm Fair. telling you, what I'm telling Fair. you, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling my kid is make it home and then we can make a complaint. Don't wow. be my nigga. If you don't have no documentation that you told them your rights. All right, what I'm saying is if you, you told them your rights. That's not my right. He got body what cameras. Up. What I'm saying is if, if you strap, do what you want. But if you ain't strapped, make it home. It, it's it's just about it's like fighting. If you strapped, it's, it's, it's if you like strapped in no, law enforcement. No, you I'm, better hope it's registered. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. No. What I'm. What, I'm not. My message is, if you are, if you want to be take it that route, take it that route. Right, what I'm saying, right? But hold up. My word is just make it home to see another day. And All then I'm saying, fight. if I studied my ass off to take the motherfucking bar Who and I know my fucking fuck rights, when you're and dead. I did my lawyer and I did all my fucking hours in school and I have my the fucking credentials to motherfucking tell a cop what they can and cannot do and I put the fucking time in for that, you got me fucked up. You but guess do what? That. It's a way to you go about it. Do like that. my nigga, I get everybody want to play this. I know my rights, bullshit. It's not play. The problem is the ignorance is that a lot of people don't know their rights. What a lot of people you don't, can know, which is why they don't know what to say. But when you do know your rights, you can say that. And I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm just saying it's a it's a it's a time and place and it's a, it's a way to do everything. You can say your rights without being disrespectful. You can say your rights without being arrogant. What's disrespectful? Oh. She didn't cuss at him. But if I'm gonna stand my ground and be dead ass serious with you and let you know, hold on, no, 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 no. You don't need to do that. That's not 
being disrespectful. That's standing my ground. You don't get to just frisk me and do what you want to me and think I'm not going to look well, at you like you're crazy. But guess what? Guess what? What I got to say, like, um, excuse me, officer, like, um, you know, according to document da 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 you, you really not allowed to do that fuck out of here ain't no yeah, trouble though, there's but no, no trouble in my voice bro, listen no what yo, the fuck are you should, doing listen man listen to my black mm -mm. kings out there i'm being honest and it wasn't if the it's king, not it was the woman i know but what i'm he saying he didn't is, say anything i know i'm saying to my kings and that's but that's what I'm, that's exactly what i'm saying because he didn't say anything and he was he was playing because he's scared but he but again he was doing what he had to do to make it home she made she escalated the situation all i'm saying is yo to my black kings if you don't understand if a cop pulls you over my nigga put your once a cop put his, his lights on you put your blinkers on to show that you acknowledge him you reach in your glove department to get your registration you pull out your license before you pull over when you pull over you have both of your hands on the steering wheel with your registration and your license i'm not saying that this is the right or wrong thing to do but this is so you can ensure that you get home and if he gives you any bullshit, you make a complaint the next day after you're hey, home here's what safe people don't know did you know that you could call 311 to let them know that an officer is calling you right now following you, you right now so that they can put it in their dispatch so they know what's going on do that as second, well second second did you know you don't have to pull over until you pull over into a scene that's visible to everybody there's that things as that well. people do not but know. do that as well you can do that you can do all that because see had he known that he wouldn't have stopped in an alias area he would have kept going so he got into a visible place and visible enough so when the cop pulled him over none of that would have happened I'm, but because I'm that was all not that, the babe. case but because not the case. what i'm not saying is i'm not saying to act a fool because what happened is that's not why all that happened. What happened is when he got out the car and the cop was still doing too much, he was like, come on, man, why am I doing it? Why are you doing this? He was like, put your hands up because he asked him a question. Honestly, you know what's crazy? 14 year old me actually went through that. Like one time I was walking through a crime scene and um, I didn't know it was a crime scene. Like I thought it was only a one way and I had to go that way to walk home. I was 14 years old. I had to walk home and the officer was like, you can't go that way. And I was just trying to tell the, I, I looked at the, the male cop told me this i looked at the lady cop to tell and i said to the lady cop i said uh, uh, i'm just trying to ask you because it's only a one way and that's the way i take home i don't know another way she was like a breach of peace and arrested me at 14 because she said i broke the peace from asking her a question you know what i'm saying all that to say is sometimes you have no way about it it doesn't mean that she caused that that does not mean that because what happened was he questioned him when he told him when he wanted to false search the car and the guy was like man what, what like why am i doing this then he started wilding it wasn't just because Listen, of the female knowing her rights i'm not saying that it, it was wasn't just, because of that i'm not again and if I, if I if i made it seem like i was saying it just because of her i apologize what i am yeah, saying is did. my apologies hmm. okay what i am saying is i feel like she did escalate the situation further than what it could have what it had to go to all i'm saying is yo make it home safe no matter delete everything i said before this i'm just saying, All I'm saying make it home safe don't when she got out the car to be, it was actually to save his life because she he was going to shoot him first what happened was when he said to the cop the cop told him to turn around and put his, when he was like why are we doing this you didn't find nothing why do i have to do it and the cop started getting aggressive with her she got out the car because the cop already had the gun up to his face right. and was going to shoot him and then when she got out the car the nigga shot her. her shot went to shoot her that's how this happened. It was nothing to do with her saying her rights. Right. It was nothing to do with that. Because anybody who knows you have rights, you are allowed that. All like, I'm you saying are is, I, that. I think sometimes, sometimes, women escalate situations because... We also the one who gets y'all... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If something's going wrong, I mean, Jay do this by himself. But a lot of times, women are also ones when y'all don't want to speak up and say, they be like, uh-uh, excuse me, his yeah, order's 100%. wrong. Yeah. Excuse me, no, this was not the right price. 100%. Excuse me. So why do we have to be limited? No, no, I'm not saying, wait. Why do we wait, have to be limited no, no, now no, no, when not, it's like, babe, but we know our rights? Do so no, I'm not like, saying, I'm why not, do we have to be limited? I'm not saying. It's okay when we do it that way. No, I'm not saying be limited. However, it is a balance, and you do need to know Kenny Rogers, I'm sorry, I'm an old hit, I'm an old soul, but you need to know when to hold, when to fold, and when to walk I away. Agree. And what I'm saying is like sometimes I'm not, I'm pro my woman. I'm pro my black woman 100 percent Anybody know me knows that. All I'm saying is is, is a time and place for everything. I agree. And sometimes we have to walk away. I'm not even just, Do let's, I think let's, that let's, queen yeah, I'm stepped say, out go. of her boundary? No, I didn't. All right, so what I was saying is let's, Do I think she took the respectable lawyer route out of it? Excuse me, excuse me, with a little Umph in her voice. I don't think she did nothing wrong. I don't think she was aggressive. All I don't right. think I. You know I don't. I'm getting think away from Queen. I'm getting away from Queen. No, because I want to tell my I was, no, no. what I think on no, Queen. No, of course. Slam. I was just talking about period. Okay. I was saying like my my topic or 
my point was really just like overall. I'm mm -hmm. not saying I was really getting away from Queen and Slim. Mm -hmm. I made it a reference because I just feel like to me, she did escalated more than it had to go. That's it. The cop was on some bullshit. Like, I ain't on the to cop be, side for one side sorry, for one second. If she would have kept quiet, he was still going to take that man to jail or shoot him. Okay. Period. Maybe. Yeah. Even if she was quiet. So if what you think about? There, he would have still. My nigga, you said that. you said Queen and Sim was the equivalent to motherfucking set, set it, it off. off. Yes, I did. You're full of shit. Yes, I did. It's no set it off First is of all, way better than I Queen and Slim. Jay, I asked Jay to give me one monumental moment or phrase and don't lie because you know i didn't say one you know what he said to me he said excuse me he said what do you do when you have a gun in your head that's but that's <laughs> wait wait pause what did you say you what did you my say my bad i didn't say you did say you said give me one i, said, I gave you one. one that was one that's as many. Some, is that common sense or what that's not you said what do you do when you have a gun in your head what do you do when you got a gun in your head it's just so common whatever sense. i gotta fucking do but the thing about it was just like just like the cop and Queen of Slim, I feel like at that moment, that's something that a bank teller would tell you. Like, what do you do when you got a gun in your head? The, to the laws of the bank, I'm assuming you got to push the panic, panic button. But what she was saying is, it's no rules when you got a fucking gun in your head because you don't know what to do. So I'm just saying, that was a monumental piece and set it off. That not stop, that's not the only one, my nigga. Or give me one more. Fucking, uh, your, your bet. Didn't um Jada Pink had sex for for, for for money to take her um to take her to nephew her nephew, uh -huh. nephew to school? Mm -hmm. That's a monument. That's a fucking huge moment. Uh, like what? Didn't, like why is that so huge? What bitches that have woman sex that to black woman? All the time. No, that black women are willing to do whatever they gotta do to protect their family. Okay. Since you so, so how since you so. Queen Slim not do I didn't, that to you? Excuse me. Time out. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted you to fucking say. How does Queen Queen just met this nigga on Tinder? They get in a car. He shoots a cop. She said, "Let me tell you something. We gotta leave." Right the fuck now, because you're a black man, and they're gonna slaughter you. And she left with this she, nigga. How is that not a phenomenal moment that a woman who don't I even know you, wasn't. a black woman who don't even know babe, you, is willing to ride babe, with you 100%. when a cop just so, got but killed? But guess what? No, no, that's no. way more but guess, monumental. But guess that's what? way but guess more what? monumental. What I'm saying so is, when I compare it to when I compare it to set it off, don't ever tell me like nah, my nigga, that's way more monumental babe, than that. Okay, what I'm saying is, I'm high. When you look at the when you look at the what when, when you look at the movie how they played it off so it's just like speaking right i can say a great speech but if i don't speak it well enough if i don't use my pauses frequently enough when i i'm just comparing it as an analogy right to the movie like queen Slim versus uh versus set it off okay the monumental part of a woman doing whatever she, a black woman doing whatever she got to do for her, to protect her family right the way they did it the sex scene you get what right. i'm saying the lead up to the sex scene you all this played queen a part of no Set it, off. Oh, set it off. All this okay. played a part of why it was such a great moment. Yeah. Queen and Slim, it what it's like they rushed it. It, it I wasn't don't like think they rushed it. I don't think they rushed it. It's crazy. You're not about to say Queen and Slim is better than fucking I'm set not, it off. I'm, I didn't say it was. You better. did say that. So this is first of all, this is what I said. I said I personally really appreciate it, Queen and, and you Slim. You said Queen and Slim and better I than set it said, off. I also said that I am pro any black romance novel. Shakespeare Set it off was my novel, right. Shakespeare, all that, also, and one. I also said Goat. that I did not think it was the greatest movie of the year, but I will say that it's it not better than Set It Off. Though. I said that it's equivalent to a movie like Set It Off. It ain't equivalent for our black culture. Listen, ain't no equivalency. Let me tell you, Set I got more. I got more gems out of Queen and Slim that I got from Set It Off. Oh, you Set It Off. Shit. Set It Off. Excuse me. Set It Off is legendary, but it didn't teach me personally nothing. There was nothing in that movie that I didn't know that I came into like, damn. Now with Queen of Slim, I will say there was some monumental. What did that teach you? Nothing. First of all, what the 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 one that we kept talking about, right? The one it was like, um, he ain't shit out there, so we treat him like a king in here. That was I very, told you that. No, you didn't tell me. You think you mentioned it? I was already thinking about it. Duh. So one, that was one. Also, what I liked is the exchange of perception. So you learned that. So you didn't know a, that, that that niggas ain't shit in the world, but we got to. No, keep. no, I didn't. It's not that I didn't know that. It was a very monumental time to be a reminder because it was like, damn, they really not. Because he was a good man who had a great family and still ended up in the situation. Even the all end, they, they, they low-key copied off and set it off. And they, they, the killing, they, how they killed them. First of all, they didn't copy because the niggas set him up. They ran the queen set it off. Ran out of queen La, no, no, no. Queen Latifah, she was she she held it down for they our family. They were looking for them. And, and she walked and into she it. said no. And Queen they Latifah didn't said walk into that. somebody <clears throat> drove them into but guess that. What, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Queen Latifah. They didn't know that was happening. To queen them. Latifah, That's the for difference. Me, queen Latifah was like, "Yo, I love you. You go. I'ma sacrifice my life for y'all." 
And Queen of Slim, that nigga ain't say. No, he did. They shot her instead of him letting him catch her. He picked her up, said, you going to have to take me That too. shit was dumb. Fuck you, I'm going to pick her up and walk to the fucking. You were such a capper because you told me that you really liked that scene. You said everybody no. didn't like the ending, but I like no, the I'm ending. Say, no, what you I'm saying is. No, no, no. Bro. What I'm Niggas saying is capping. everybody's complaining about the scene, the ending, but I think the ending made sense of the movie. I didn't think it was so terrible. Again, I don't. You're comparing it to set it off. There's I'm, no fucking comparison. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've watched Set It Off tons and t uh, millions of times, just like I watched Paid in Full. They are great movies, but to sit here and say to me, if you're asking me, so is Queen it some fucking is a ghetto Shakespeare? No. So Queen of Slim is not. a great movie. I never. I said I appreciated the movie, and I'm going to always be pro any black romance Shakespeare modeled movie. Right, yes, Liz, the fuck I am. Lizzo, let's talk about her ass. Lizzo. Oh, no point intended. Let's talk about. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzo. Yeah, let's talk about that ass. That Yo, moon. That moon ass. Lizzo. That's a big old ass. She did an interview with Gail. I don't know what was it, CB, CBS or whatever. <laughs> She's full of shit. What I'm going to say is, I respect the moment. The fact that you came from living in a car. The fact that you, you had a lot of people talking about your body and you wasn't secure with your shape and form and things like that. And then now you can be secure with it. But my nigga, you knew exactly what the fuck you was doing when you went into the Staples Center. Cut the bullshit. Like, let's just, why can't we just ever call a spade a spade and be like, you know what? I, I was looking that. for attention and I did that. And I didn't think that it was going to be, not that I didn't think, but I, it didn't dawn on me that it was a family oriented space. I apologize. Another thing I think she's kept, because on the interview, she was like, uh, Gail was like, I mean, you know what the people are saying. You hear it. She said, nah, I just be living my life. I don't really hear what they're saying. You're full of shit because at the same time, you can speak on saying how, how about being famous, sometimes it gets to you because you hear what they saying, but you just said you didn't hear, you don't hear what they say. Make your fucking mind up. Like, I, I, I'm a huge supporter in Lizzo and what she stands for, but when you're what? wrong, just be like, yo. Just say I'm I like wrong. that song. I just took a DNA test, found out I'm 100% that bitch. Whatever. Hey, let me say, okay, so, <clears throat> all right. What I'm going to say is I understand both sides. So I ain't even mad at Lizzo. Pick a side, nigga. I'm not picking a side on this, and I'm going to tell you why. I always want to be in the so middle. So I, I don't never want to be in the middle. You know, I don't ride no motherfucking fences, You're fishing, nigga. fishing, riding a wave. You know, I don't ride no motherfucking fences. But what I will say is that, you know, for a lot of years – we have witnessed tons of people do exactly what Lizzo has done. Amber Rose, mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. Little Kim, mm -hmm. like at, be at all these events, half ass naked, doing what they want to do, and because they're more appealing. Wait, in a, ba a basketball game? It, last think, time think, I checked, you think people don't bring their kids to award shows? Yo, last time you think people don't bring their kids to award? Blue Ivy was sitting at a award show. Facts. Okay. Okay, so there was what I'm saying. So their biggest thing was that. You know, there was kids and family there, family members there at the NBA game. But it's the same thing at a war show. There's kids and family members there as well who's coming to support the honoree, right? So to say that people haven't been doing this for years and you, because we are, you know, in a time where, you know, body consciousness is a big thing, you know what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of people who got away with exactly what Lizzo has done, except nobody really cared because they were more appealing to their eye than she is. So do I think that she should feel away? No, bitch, live your life, do what the fuck you wanna do because at the end of the day- So you support she, this shit. It's not that I support it. I support anybody who's coming real and raw. And I think genuinely, Lizzo did not like her imperfections at a time, so now she is coming out like, I love every part of me, so I could do the same thing that y'all do for the same attention. Let her rock some because we do have to understand that big girls do not get this shine. They, they do not get to do this. And I think it definitely upped her sales and upped everything she needed. And I think that's great for her because a lot of times this does not get done for her size black women. It does not get done. So let her rock. Now, what I will say is I'm really glad that they did that Stable Center did not decide to ban her because at a point it was like that she should be banned and some people are saying she should be banned and they said we are not banning Lizzo we love her I thought that was phenomenal I because think... I thought banning her was a reach but I understood the business logic behind it because I'm sure no offense the people who are not as appealed 
to Lizzo and black women and people doing this and their kids being there, they did not want their, their season holder ticket, their season ticket holders and things like this. So from a business, I'm like, damn, I could potentially lose business. But at the same time, Lizzo is up. I think Lizzo. They're not losing any business because Lizzo got fans. Right. So if you ban Lizzo, you ban her fan base. And not if you really, ban her not fan base. necessarily. All right. I you feel think like that Lizzo is not, if you think that Lizzo don't got a fan base as, uh, of, of motherfucking big black women that's standing behind her all over this world, you motherfucking I didn't, crazy. wait, I didn't, I, wait, I never they, said that she did They wouldn't boycott that motherfucker like this if they did ban Lizzo, you motherfucking crazy, and they, they would lose more money. Babe, they weren't losing that much money. Okay. We thought we was, we thought okay. NFL was going to lose money when Kaepernick got banned. And they did <clears> lose money. They did lose money. <laughs> Niggas still was the watching ratings NFL went on down, Sundays. Uh, but the ratings went down tremendously on TV and in season holder tickets. Are you crazy? What I'm saying it is. It still went down. Still... No matter if they didn't shut down, they went down. All right. What I'm saying is hmm. she full of shit. And I feel like. I don't think Honestly, they should have banned her ass for a year. I mean, to, at least to the no, end of the year. Only reason no. I say that. Only reason I say that because, like, this ain't the first time Lizzo has been in the media for some, doing some bullshit. What, what was the last Like, time? she just was in the media for, like, something with uh, Uber Eats or some shit. Like, she put the girl on blast. Like, like my nigga, like, you need to learn that. What did she put on blast? Some chick in Uber Eats. Why, can you do a little quick search for me there? Yo, she was, she, uh, she, um, a, a Uber Eats driver didn't deliver her food. Matter of fact, a Uber Eats okay. driver was like, she she left or whatever because she was she went no, to. No, I think what happened she took she left because you know what Uber Uber Eats drivers will do that ten minute mark thing where they can keep the food. Like get the fuck, they yeah. do do that. You know they do that. Yeah, that's, they fucking nah, do that. But no, yeah, but that so is, okay, so you do it to a person. Okay, Monday start raising uh. Oh, on Monday, rising star Lizzo found herself in the midst of a and also, like I said, the NFL did drop eight percent since all the 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 shit been going on. She didn't receive a full prompting. At, um, again, post on Twitter Tuesday, Lizzo issued an apology. Right. So what happened was she didn't receive a full, and I did Uber Eats, nigga. The fuck. So like, when you do Uber Eats, you get a time, and if you don't come, yo. I ain't going to say what If you don't bring your black ass down here to get your food, you I'm gone. Food. You know what I'm saying? So, it's what, clear as day that she did not come get her food. She just didn't but, get but her no, food. But no, but then don't put it on Twitter talking shit Why about not? the driver. Why not? Because you didn't come get your food. you don't get your food, you think you ain't about to be like Uber Eats. I ain't get my motherfucking food. When I take the Metro to work, Shut when up. that motherfucking train is late, when that motherfucking train no, is late, listen. no. When that train is late, I be now. I ain't Shut even famous. You're not I be making like, sense. Metro, what the fuck, Yeah, you're not making sense. Why not? Because the train is late. What, what I'm saying she is, she said if, she didn't get her food. No, you're missing my like. Even the girl even came out and she has the girl has a case because the girl was there. She mm -hmm. waited to the time. Lizzo, love you, Lizzo. You like right? What Follow I'm saying the is, the girl came. Watch the podcast and let us know what you think. Say. The girl came. <laughs> the girl came with her food. Mm -hmm. She waited the time to deliver her food. Lizzo never came down, so she left. So then Lizzo put, I think she put a fake, like she put her information on Twitter, something like that. And so, then she ended up issuing an apology. Yeah. All I'm mm -hmm. saying is Lizzo was making That's too, bad. Lizzo was okay. making too many mistakes mm -hmm. for her to, to be. Too many. I don't think she's making that many mistakes. What, what I'm saying is she's making too many mistakes for her to be where she's at. She's not regular anymore. Right. So but I'm not saying, process but no, I get, but you know how you, you know how you, you know what expedites your process to feel that you are there? When people ban you from the state with standards, because now you understand that I can't do these things right, that fair, I can't fair. do what I want because yeah. I'm not who I used to be. Yeah, I'm not saying fair. that I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm, not right, right, I'm not right. saying that I'm against Lizzo. Yeah. I'm just saying sometimes we need to get some type humble. of punishment. Yeah, humble. yeah and humble you us like humble. yo, because yeah. now she's in her bag. Whereas though, now she might do something <clears> else. While yeah, like now, now was like metric. now was like Lizzo thinks like I used to hate my body. So now I can pretty much do anything with my body at any given place. And that's not true. That's not it's true. a balance. It's a time, it's a place for that's all I'm saying. Like, that. No, you're right. And, I, and I'm pro agreed, her. Like, agreed, being, agreed. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. No, I mean, I, I completely support and agree with that. What I the fuck? Um, 6 9 uh, Still getting 37 years, even though he snitched all over the place. He ain't still. They, they, um, I think they gonna, we're going to find out Wednesday. Okay. He wrote a letter. His girlfriend wrote I a letter. I seen something that said, he also wrote a letter, but I also seen something that he's still facing 37 years. Yeah, he's not he facing, yeah. He's facing, but he wrote. So what you think? You think he going to get off? Um, all right, so my, 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 so at first I didn't, I hated 6 9 for this. At first I liked 6 9 this happened. I couldn't stand him because I feel like he put his family at rest and I, and I just wasn't with it. <sighs> now, I'm thinking like, on one side, it's feeling like, yo, it can be hope that if you fuck up, you might still have a chance to have a second. You might still, in life, have a second chance. 
and for me, I'm pro. I'm pro second chances. However, do I think he's going to get off with time served? I don't know. Do I want him to? I don't know because you don't wish jail time on your worst enemy. That's you know what I'm saying? Like that's just not like. Shout out to free Kodak Black man. Yeah, and then throw it in he's there, going and through I'm it too. Not liking that. Like you don't wish that on your worst enemy, mm-hmm. and yeah, he's a rat. I just can't wish that on him because if I was in a situation, because I don't yeah. think I would be in that situation. I pray that I won't be in that situation because right. I don't want to put myself in a position to have to be yeah. in that situation, right? But if I was in a situation where I needed a second chance, mm-hmm. I would hope I can get a second chance. That's all I'm saying. I don't really care for what 6 9 did. I'm mm-hmm. not. I don't agree with that shit. I don't yeah. fuck with that shit. I don't fuck with rat and yeah. none of that shit is not cool. Where I'm from, you get killed for that. Yeah. However, I'm talking about the aspect of getting a second yeah. chance. Yeah. That's it. I'm not talking about yeah. him snitching. I'm just talking about getting a second chance yeah. because I got a second chance at school yeah. when it's some people who might believe that I shouldn't got a yeah. second chance. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all I'm talking about. So, <sighs> well, far as that is like, ah, I'm not, I I'm going to just say no comment because like, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. You know, I feel like this is a very sticky situation. I really can't say if they're going to let him, you know, walk on that 37 or give him the 37. I do know that money do talk even in the court world, though. Yeah. And 6 9 got a lot of money. And yeah, is what I do know. Well, so I wouldn't be surprised. However, um, I also think that 6 9 has been through a lot through the process and it definitely did show him some things that he wasn't ready for. Yeah. Like, I think that he went into this with the intention of, you know, I'm lit, I could do what I want, you know, I'm part of Treyway, whatever, and the niggas stole from him, fucked his baby mother, and now he's in a situation like, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, nah, like, I didn't know what I was signing up for. And now I do think because of the situations, he does deserve a second right. chance because at those points, he is young and he's still learning life and you can't probably think that everybody think they know street clothes until you in a street. And worst like, case and, and a lot of times n- niggas really not in, not street, in the street even when they trying to when they act say they, like they on the streets. Niggas they ain't in not the in the streets. Yeah. And when you get a taste of the streets, you like, oh no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, I, will nah. say I is, don't want that. Like what, I don't want that. What I will say is how if if it does go in his favor, right? Let's use this situation to avoid having anything else like this. Good. Yeah. Let's 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 use him. Yeah. To to help yeah. or to avoid yeah. having somebody else go that same yeah. direction. Again, R. P. Juice World. Yeah, yeah. rest in peace, Juice so. World. Let's use him to to avoid people from going that yeah. direction. Like, let's use Juice These World. These people situation. are so young, and I just you know like it's crazy because I really did like Six Nine. Like, I mean, like in the beginning when I first heard of Six Nine, I didn't like him. When I started to see, you know, the type of troll and just fun and just you know person he was and still holding this type of music that I still did think it made an impact through his career. I was like, damn, I, you know, I like the little nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Right. But this is like, you know, a complete eye opener to like, bro, like don't those fake hey lifestyles that niggas trying to live, it ain't shit. worth it. Yeah. Leave that shit alone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because now you put yourself in a situation. You're really a nice kid. Everybody I've seen said he's a nice kid. Nicki Minaj said he's a very nice kid. 50 cent no, everybody said. Fifty Cent said he's a really. What's nice his name? Kid. What's his name? Who? Six nine. What's, what's the nigga name? Oh, uh, uh, Daniel. It was like Daniel. Yeah, Danny he's, he's a, a great uh, person. Yeah, he's like he's a great person, but, but six, six nine, nine is just a, a, a industry rat. Yeah, so it's like, yo, I just want to yeah. say, if he does, if it does go his way, hopefully this can, this can, yeah, create God, a better situation. God, God knows better than we know <laughs> yeah. of where his faith should lie with the situation. And, and hopefully, if, if he get out. It, this will help other people not yeah. go down that yeah. same direction. I agree. And I hope he does be an advocate for that. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? That would help him. And I do believe if he does get out, I think that 6 9 is going to be just fine. Um, because he's definitely going to, you know, this is going to speak volumes to the, you got to understand, there's a lot of young knuckleheads running around. It's a lot of, like, our gen- that generation they is they know way it, different. <clears throat> that generation is way different. Like, so, and I, I, I'm sure this can definitely be a thing. This, yeah. this, this next thing you, you put on there, because I don't Saucy know. Saucy Santana. Who, who the fuck is that? <laughs> What's big, sweetie? Have no idea. What's big, sweetie? Have no idea. So Saucy Santana, um, you know, he got the song. What's the song? Damn. I can't think of the song right now. But uh, Walk Him Like a Dog. I Treat Him Like a Dog. So there we go. I had it. Walk Him Like a Dog. Um, also, a friend of Young Miami, as we know him, from... Being on live with my young Miami, joining back and forth, and we got the famous phrase, what's big, sweetie? You I know don't what I'm know saying? Nothing about that. He was shot at Damn. leaving the club, I believe. Wait, this nigga gay? 
He is gay, wild gay. And wait, he, he was big shot gay. At? But he, you know, I love his. But Young Miami was shot at too, right? She was at a time. Damn. Yeah, she was. I remember. Yeah, her shit. What he was shot at for? Um, and he did get shot. Apparently, Damn. um, he got shot, but he's okay. He's back. Whatever. Um, but they only shot at his passenger side. What's crazy is, you know, a lot of his reports came from, you know, this being a act of homophobia of not liking gay men and you know that large reaction and he did do interviews of this being in cause of that but another love and hip-hop member did release that he was actually doing a lot in a club oh and he was actually basing on security okay. supposedly and a lot of things was going on that prompted <clears throat> this ending but some gay and people not all gay men not all he, this is what i would say i like sosa shit. santana but he's super flamboyant nails long while wow, he be twerking all over the place, like just be walling. And I love it. Like I love the free personality, but I do know that a lot of wild flamboyant gay men are overly blunt and a little do a little yeah. too much. And it's like, it's a certain realm of you're not a bitch. Like you can't do too much but not, where <clears throat> things not are not, that, you know, not even that. Because I don't know what the fuck I was saying, a you can do too whatever. much in the right setting. So okay, again, enough, even with when enough. I'm saying like make it home, right? With gay guys that's flamboyant, whatever the case may be, it's nothing wrong with being gay. It's nothing wrong with being flamboyant. But if you want to do that, go to a gay party. And period, if you and if you period. are if you are at a straight no, party, they be at a straight party. Right. I'm gonna party with the rappers. But if you are, else, if you are at that, doing some a lot like they a bitch, and it's like you're not a bitch. But, but no, but if you're in that situation, just be mindful. Like it's not not saying and that no you offense. can't be you. Yeah. Be mindful. But if you want to be you, go to a gay party because yeah. that's where you you're, yeah. you 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 fit in. You can be most comfortable. Like. Yeah. It just is what it is. Like yeah. if, hypothetically, yeah, if I'm with my show. girlfriend and she go to Pride with her friend, and I'm so happy to be with her, and somebody says some wild shit to me, I gotta understand where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at I can't just punch a nigga in the face yeah. because I'm at I put myself in that situation. Yeah. So if you are at, and I would never do that, let y'all know. But <laughs> if you're at a, a straight party and you're wilding, you wanna you gotta expect niggas to be on some bullshit because Period, to to them you want some bullshit, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, but, you know, I definitely still don't wish gun violence on anybody. And, uh, you know, prayerfully, he did come out of it okay. Um, I don't think he's taking the most humble approach. He's coming out making videos to who shot you by Biggie. And Biggie that's making it worse, shit. though. But, um, you know, again, I don't stand for people who actually do this shit and, you know, like, make it about homophobia. You know, it's real gays that really do suffer from people bullying them on homophobia. If you just in a club doing too much and you doing a lot of shit and a lot of rapping and you think niggas won't come at you, stop doing that shit. Stop getting online talking about, like, this is over homophobia because it's motherfucking real gays that's really suffering and being bullied by that shit because they just living a life and they not doing too much and they right. not harming nobody. And that's what I don't like. Don't keep going out there trying to make a cause something about you and you was doing something completely different because I still report the people who's just being numb and people are really just attacking them for being them. It's not a nice thing to do. And when you make it about that and you was really just in your bag and doing no much, I don't respect you anymore. I'm not saying that's facts for Saucy Santana. I'm just saying I hope it's not because honestly, that is, that's not right. 100%. If that is that if that is the case, it's not right. 100%. Yeah. So. Hey, uh, that I think that was it for the day. Hi. Fifteen thousand on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. You know Mister underscore J Hill M R underscore J A Y H I L L. Healer Bay underscore H E A L E. Shout out is lit. A E. I am lit. I'm I'm and plugging her YouTube and she plugging her and Instagram. And it's Sunday and yeah. Anyway, yo, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube, Mister J Hill. And we love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of our journey on the journey, the Gemini Scorpio podcast. You make know the fucking vibes. Make sure you turn your Shout notifications out at on. Gym Fits Fitness. Shout out Milani. I'm gonna need you to relax, bro. Credit I'm trying to, I'm trying to get them to, trying to get them to. to I feel nice. That really all right. No, they need to relax sponsor. right now. What I, um, I'm trying to get them to. <laughs> yo, listen. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Make sure you turn your post notifications on. So anytime we po anytime we post, you can get the notification. Make sure you follow us on social media. Now you say it. Where to follow you at, Bay? Healer Bay underscore. And a mic. Oh, and a mic. Healer Bay underscore H E A L E R B A E 
underscore. Make sure you follow me at Mr. MR underscore J A Y H I L L. Hey, thanks for the support. With them fine ass. Now you could be like, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for the support. Thank you for the support. Pull up on us. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> you was lit. <laughs> hey, listen, 005, it's a wrap. Yes. Thanks, man. We out. <laughs>